this is a story that I mean I just right now I just feel in shock and uh, and relief at the same time which is very two very different feelings but so it's to do with a BBC article which has just come out sister Dursene a Uyghur sister who came out of the concentration camps her account has been documented now and this account before I get into it I just want to explain just the just the background to like why, why I'm in shock and relief at the same time so last year I went to Istanbul to film Uyghur uh, detainees who survived these um, horrific conditions and um, while we were there Arsalan said look I have information that there's somebody we're going to meet who's freshly arrived in Istanbul and this person uh, arrived and was obviously in these camps and went through some absolute horrible torture and as soon as we met the sister Tursane we just realized she's not fit for the interview and she's not going to live long we both were just thinking she's going to pass away she's going to she's just going to die and I remember just sitting sitting in that place and she was there and I was just like I could not believe she was in so much pain and was just lying and it was just it's so heartbreaking to see that and Arsalan tried to obviously she needed urgent medical care which was going to cost a lot of money and um, so Arsalan started uh, calling Louisa Grieve from the Uyghur Human Rights Project and um, you know Louisa said you know okay we're going to take care of her and you know we, uh, we need her to give her story and you know Louisa was just like frantically just seeing everything she could do to to support this person and um, you know we left after some time because obviously I needed to go back to the UK and Arsalan had to leave the country as well but we left it with Louisa and we just gave her the information that she needed and now after months I just see this random uh, the thing on Twitter and it's Tursane and she's safe and she's in America and she's documented her story and, and it's it's horrific, it's brutal. Um, Louisa sorted out her, um, you know, her extraction out of Turkey. Louisa sorted out, you know, her story being recorded. I mean, all of these things. And uh, I'm just so grateful to her and people involved in this and now now that's the relief part now the shock part is what she's been saying it is, is her story the the systematic rape the insertion of you know I, it's just unbelievable like this is like inf the information like this about the camps has not come out before the cruelty the barbarism this is this is unbelievable um, and I, 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 I just want to really say this to everybody watching it's people like Louisa Grieve, it's the Uyghur Human Rights Project, it's, it's people like this who we need to support I'm going to put up the link to their, um, their page, support them these are people who are saving lives, these are people who are documenting these stories, these are people who go out of their you know, they, they just, they do everything possible for the Uyghurs. And these are the people we need to support.